thermosphere is the layer of the atmosphere above the mesosphere. Uh, at this point, the temperature of the atmosphere begins to increase again as you head up through the thermosphere. The reason for that is because of the ionosphere, which is uh, in the top portion of the thermosphere. The ionosphere is uh, created in a couple ways. First of all, ionic particles from the sun, uh, free protons, free electrons, come streaming into Earth in the solar wind, and those get trapped in the Earth's magnetic field, which is up at this layer, uh, and so that creates ions. Electrons add to atoms, giving negative ions. Protons are positive ions, positive hydrogen ions. And uh, so they kind of spin around in this magnetic field up in the ionosphere. Uh, ions can also be produced uh, through uh, high-energy ultraviolet uh, radiation, which tends to dissociate uh, nitrogen molecules and oxygen molecules, uh, creating ions as well. Uh, these ions uh, tend to spin and funnel towards the poles, giving us one of the most beautiful sights in nature, the auroras. As you can see, we have aurora borealis here, which happens when those ions spiral through the magnetic field towards the poles, and as they get to the poles, the magnetic fields come in towards the North Pole and down towards the South Pole and give you um, these beautiful displays when they interact with more dense atmosphere. Um, and uh, the other thing that's important to know about the ionosphere is that uh, you can bounce radio waves off of it. And so there be, might be a radio station, say, somewhere in the Caribbean that uh, broadcast with an extremely powerful signal, and that will uh, go up and bounce off the ionosphere and come back down and be able to reach a large portion of the United States, uh, despite the curvature of the Earth, because it's bouncing off the ionosphere and back down. Uh, and that's the thermosphere.